and Enforia AMC Entertainment Holdings, Inc. won court approval of a stock conversion plan that had spurred a shareholder lawsuit and cast a cloud over the movie theater chain's efforts to secure new financing. Uh, the settlement approved on Friday includes extra shares for individual investors, thousands of whom had opposed it, uh, citing the dilution of their shares, among other concerns. Uh, many of them uh, fueled the pandemic era uh, mean stock rally that saved ANC from a bankruptcy firing. Uh, uh, and the ruling by Delaware Chancery Court, Judge Morgan Zern caps a uh, protracted and bitter legal fight over ANC's preferred equity units, or APEs, which pitted the company's top executive against part of that retail investor base. Last month, Zern surprised the market by rejecting an earlier version of the settlement, sending the value of ANC's regular shares soaring and the eights plunging. She found that the original deal waived too many potential claims against the company. Um, read the judge's opinion here. AMC shares sank as much as 34% in post-market trading, while the preferred shares spiked more than 29%, narrowing the spread between the two to around $1.50. In 110 page opinions, Zern concluded that the settlement was reasonable, finding that while the plaintiff's claim of breach of fiduciary duty had merit, a remedy for that claim was challenging to identify. She noted that the revised pact included additional shares of common stock awarded to the current common stockholders to offset the dilutive effects. Mary, uh, they were going to open sitting there, and they went to, you know, they were not not apologizing this settlement, this settlement that, you know, point down the rates are rated the rates strong, but not a sure thing. And that uh, uh, their risk of losing made the settlement a fair deal. Uh, uh, where a plaintiff establishes directors acted with the primary purpose of impeding the exercise of stockholder voting power, the company's board members must demonstrate their actions were reasonable. The family judge wrote, she said, AMC actually didn't convince her of that, but that it may have been able to prevail if it had gone to trial. The settlement has been valued as much as $120 million, depending on AMC's volatile stock price. It wasn't immediately clear when the APS conversion would take place, but the AMC officials have said they hope to raise new financing by the middle of this month. Zerm said approval of the deal clears the way for the company to at, and that it has indicated it intends to do so as quickly as possible. And the case began when a pension fund and other shareholders challenged the plan to let AP holders, many of them arbitragers betting on the stock conversion, vote on AMC's recapitalization proposals. Hedge fund on TAR Capital LP holds roughly 30% of the APs. More than 2,800 shareholders opposed, giving the AP investors a vote. Um, in rejecting the earlier version of the settlement, um, as Zern cited sections that would have waived any claims by holders of the common stock, including those also holding apes, uh, the resubmitted settlement included a narrower release waiving only claims that relate to the ownership of common stock. And the meme stock investors role has made the case unusual, especially as the focus of the legal proceedings has turned to the accord. And so in writing to the court to oppose the stock conversion plan, um, some expressed the dilution concerns, uh, while others um, cited market manipulation theories that have spread online. Um, and the AMC created the apes uh, last year to get around the share limit. It couldn't lift without the support of retail investors. And with the settlement, it aimed to address their objections by handing out one extra Class A share for every 7.5 held, a ratio that has put the PAC's value at around $110 million to $120 million. And announcing the revised accord last month, AMC Chief Executive Officer Adam Aaron stressed the critical importance of getting the deal approved and the APAs converted. So the company can raise new equity capital. The lead objector to the accord, a retail trader named Rosie Ezo, has sought to derail it, take over the case, and resume 
the court fight on behalf of uh, five research written from others in her camp who feel stabbed in the back by AMC and its leaders, her lawyer has said. Uh, Izzo had asked CERN to put any uh, stock conversion on hold to leave time for an appeal if the judge approved the settlement. Uh, given the success of the Blockbusters uh, financial company agenda busters, not just the one that the companies actually actually seem to be talking about what a governor paid was, whether it's president to Oppenheimer and AMC Strong. Uh, uh, AMC's shares have been on a wild ride because some traders and hedge funds, as part of their arbitrage bets, have been adding to their APE positions and doing short AMC shares. They've been betting they will be able to pocket the spread once the conversion goes through and narrows the price gap between the two. Zern's earlier ruling against the treasure proposal forced them to start unwinding that bet to limit their risk, boosting the shares. Litigation continues on other fronts. AMC has sued its insurers for refusing to fund the settlement and another holder of the common stock is seeking a court order requiring the company to hold its first annual meeting and board election in more than 13 months. And Tara is facing a securities lawsuit in federal court seeking the return of its alleged short swing profits. Uh, the case is AMC Entertainment Holdings Incorporated shareholder litigation 2023-2015. Delaware, Chancery Court, Wilmington, uh